Hello, hello, here is BB Walker. I hope you are doing well. As you can see, now I'm after a little bit update in my studio, but this video will be about how to connect electric guitar into Yamaha keyboard and use the real-time built-in amp simulation effects that can allow you to play only with keyboard and electric guitar and we won't be using this a multi effects like zoom so if you are interested in just stay tuned and we will start in a second all right so quick introduction into cable and connecting here on yamaha is the input it's a standard quarter inch input instrumental input that could be used to connect guitar or mic into this instrument and we will be using it in a configuration with guitar but before you connect guitar, make sure that there is a switch. I am not able to show you the rear panel because I'm, you know, come, it's difficult to go with camera there. So this is a picture and it shows you that there is a switch that has two positions, mic and guitar. And before connecting guitar, make sure that you are set to guitar and the minimum gain set to min because this is very sensitive input with preamps. And if you are connecting mic, uh, it has a lot of, you know, preamp gain. And if you connect and the voltage, the input signals from guitar is much higher than the, for example, dynamic mic, which doesn't have its own power. So make sure that you are on guitar input if you are connecting guitar, because you may even damage the preamps here. So connection is very simple. Quarter inch standard. First go here to this input. The second go to the guitar. And we are actually good to go. This instrument, this model, this flagship uh, from Yamaha has this mic guitar input, which it, it could be used for vocoder effects or guitar effects. It's a very cool feature, which you cannot find on cheaper line, uh, cheaper model like um, PSRS 670, which you can also find on my channel. Uh, but both those devices has built-in processors for real-time processing the sound because if you are playing some voices in here, you can also attach a reverbs, a chorus, distortion, echo, harmony, and so on. And if you are interested in general about the DSP blocks processing, there are four blocks. Some of them are used for, uh, you know, narrow uh, source, uh, for example, right to right one right two voices or styles and some of them i widely use for all the inputs so if you are interested in the basics about processing dsp in this model or s670 please refer to this link in the description there is a very long video about explanation of all these things how it works but today video is about guitar and dsp number four because dsp number four is the only block that can be applied to external input. So in our case, this mic or guitar input. So how to enable it and play with this. Here on this button, you get mic settings, vocal harmony. You are pressing it. And let's go a little bit zoom. If I now hit the guitar, you will see some clean sound because it's only a little bit, you know, gain. I mean, there is a preamp, so it shows you the lines. It's okay. Now I won't be gaining it more because I think it's, it's, it's okay for testing. And for this video, I will show you how to, you know, use those panel to make some great things. So just give me a moment. I will prepare an external source of recording because this video will be recorded in two audio uh, tracks and you will see on the label where the audio comes from the zoom which is basically an output from this because I would like to give you a high quality output the samples how those effects really you know sounds not by the mics or but only by the line output so let's go first make sure that harmony is off and vocal effects are not enabled mid guitar must be on and let we, if we go to this effects type and change the effect, let's start from the beginning. Now I am a humbucker. Now I'm on a humbucker. 
but I will be switching it, you can see here which position on the guitar I'm playing. The volume is the maximum on the guitar. So that was the US combo twin. Let's go down. Okay. So basically there are a few effects, I mean presets, that gives you an amp emulation of some amps, but if you go exit, you can use the knobs to alter the sound. You can also switch the view from this nice knobs, let's call it the graphical interface, into something like this when you actually change the parameters in the form table. So this is only a change gain boost from low. If you go back, you could find this parameter somewhere here. It's it's here. So you can press it, go and change it. Low, high, and so on. So let's go through, let's walk through all these presets and at the end we will be playing something to, you know, get some nice sound. US Combo Crunch It was humbucker, let's try a different position Jazz Combo Basic The parallel humbuckers are of course the most powerful signal coming out from the guitar so it is best for the high gain sound. Here comes the US high gain. I usually be going back to Hambaka because this is my favorite. Okay, let's go forward. High gain reef. This is much brighter. All right, I like this one. Let's try on different positions. And 
humbucker usually gives you more persons, you know, more wide ranges. Uh, if you go to another positions, usually the bass are gained and the middle and trebles are muted. Of course, in this Ibanez, I don't know if this affects all the guitars. So, high gain solo. As assume it's intended to be great for soloing, and it's pretty pretty nice. And now we are going into another section. Th these presets are set. These graphics are changes from from time to time. There are several British, US, and there is also multi effects. <laughs> So this clean sound is really nice. Now I, now I have added some gain on the input. There is also a noise gate in this instrument. Uh, you can hear it if I start playing. There is hissing. But if I mute the strings, it automatically cut the signal off. This module code is called the noise gate. You can also find it in Zoom G3XN. You can check my video when I was exploring some basic effects. And this chain effects how to set up it. So when you, it, it's good to have a compressor, noise gate and so on. Okay, let's go forward with another presets. Lead drive. Let's try on a humbucker. This is a British little drive. <laughs> eh, sorry. <laughs> for crunch this is this classic british for crunch i love it Same like the same like before, but with more gain. So it basically uh, changes. Uh, I mean, it differs the parameters actually have because the the presets only. Let's go forward. Now we got to another group called Multi FX Distortion Solo. Let's go to Hambaka. This is uh, uh, much quieter. Let's change the output in here. So let's. Here, as you can see, there is much more parameters like delays and so on, so it's, it's a big multi-effect. If you go to detail, now you can browse all these effects, changing them and changing values. 
maybe it doesn't look cool but for me it's might more <laughs> it's much more convenient to use this in in this view because here you can change the type so your presets here are changed and you can see which uh, distortion uh, which effects for example like uh, here you get override you get off you get distortion <laughs> This, that's quite too much gain so let's go down with the persons maybe distortion tone even my studio monitors doesn't give him so we are actually too much Alright, let's go down. Nice. Bach pedal. Really cool to play. Here is a delay. Okay. Vintage echo. Stereo, very cool graphic. We are humbucker, let's try different. The tone is maximum in the guitar. All right, let's go forward. Heavy distortion, compression, distortion drive. That is really nice. I like it. I will save it. So basically, if you do some tweaking and you like the sound, you press save. And we can save it in user 1. Okay, effects user rename. Let's try to do this. Let's call it B, 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 1. Okay. Now executing. Okay. <laughs> So this is my sound and you can find it in the section user so it's pretty cool to have this un own presets called user as you can see there's only 10 presets so let's go back to distortion because there is a lot of these effects let's go here have a distortion <laughs> Uh, 
pronounce them. Okay, so there is a lot of it. Uh, yeah, this is the end. Some of them are really highly gained and you know they need to be tweaked to match your levels. Of course, there is only there is all, all the time the standard also pretty nice. Of course a professional guitarist could get much more from this. I am showing you only this to you know have some you know, inspiration to keep digging inside and check how it could be used. Uh, so, let's go to something else. Modulation. You get compressors here. Again, if you leave, so go to effects effects type 4 and more effects modulation chorus tune in the category legacy and the effect called true is nothing more like go true so this is the clean unprocessed sound on the humbucker This is the sound that I like. Okay, so let's switch to another mic. Alright, so let's summarize all the stuff that I have shown you today in this presentation. Basically, such a, you know, fix, such a feature in your instrument is really cool because you can have some real-time effects applied to your guitar or uh, microphone effects. There is also, I'm planning a video when I will be showing you the vocoder features. So there's a lot of fun you can do with mic connected to this to the same guitar output. Uh, what are the disadvantage? And maybe you have a question. Can such a thing, you know, replace my multi effects like, for example, camper or boss or whatever you have in your home if you are playing guitar even I am I'm not talking about professional playing of course I'm talking about home and motor playing so could it you know replace my guitar uh, guitar multi effects in my personal opinion the answer is no why because we cannot make chains of effects uh, for example uh, in my video about zoom g3x Free and four, whatever the model is, G three X N. Okay, but forget. Uh, in the you know dedicated device for a guitar for multi effect, uh, you have the possibility to use even up to seven effects in chain. So for you can start for compressor, then apply the distortion, then apply the reverb, then apply the I don't know looper or rhythms. There is a lot of things that you can do much more than this one. Uh, here is the limited capacity of, you know, com uh, computation power in the device. You get only one block for effects. So DSP4 is the only block that could be used 
for real time sound processing and you cannot change the effects so you cannot add a distortion i bet this american crunch or any other amp emulation and then add echo and then add reverb or compressor for example some of those effects like this uh, the most in, I, in my opinion the most uh, let's call it advanced uh, is this um, this one is pretty cool because it has a built-in compressor it's a you know a partial compressor but it has some parameters for compression and it has the tone and percents and the overall output so basically compression switches here you can enable compression oh sorry i won't show you this so basically um, if you are you know intended to use it please choose the effects that have a lot of features like this multi fx and this is the most advanced, I think. I was playing it for quite some time. I don't want to make a, a video when I'm starting to explaining all these features. Of course, if you are interested, just give me a comment and I will prepare a video. But as you can see, here is wah, here is distortion, here is equalizer, so you could affect the mids, trebles, and low frequencies. And you also have this compressor, and this also LFO built in, which can gives you a phaser or or effects like this so in multi effects you could you know emulate something because to create your own great uh, guitar sound uh, you basically need compressor you need some kind of uh, distortion I mean uh, even if you are not very in, in the music like heavy metal or hard rock where this high gain distorts the sound distortion is really cool because in co connection with compressor it gives you nice result on low gains even could be used and some reverb or or echo delay could be useful to create some ambience and of course basic equalizer so mid trebles and lows to you know uh, tweak the sound in your proper way so but this is all always some kind of compromise of course you don't need to buy external device which cost couples of dollars or british pounds depending when you live but it's the, the great about this, you can get a guitar, you can grade your instrument, have it in one place and you can jam with guitar and have this distorted sound, you can play it and also you can record it because you can also record it on the USB, this performance. So I think it's all for now, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about, you know, processing here in Yamaha, just give me a comment and I will create a video. I'm also planning a video about vocoders. So if you are interested in vocoder feature, there's a lot of things you can do with your voice and a mic. Please give me a comment and I will also create it as soon as possible. So thanks for watching. See you later. It was BB Walker. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, I'm fighting for 10,000 subscribers because I want to buy myself a true bass. Good luck.